Well, we, uh, the first one we built, uh, we built it on the ground on the concrete and it just really hurt my back. It's cause I, I mean, it's just not, a, it's not a good thing to do. So we devised uh, an easier way to do it with, by using the pallets from Versa tube. Get six saw horses, lay them out, get them where you want it, screw the two by fours onto the pallet. So we basically build, just mock one up and then we screw our boards here so it lines it up. So that's, so, and I have a center line on my, on my pallet here. So I can always center line this up here. And then what we do is we clamp it like so, so the center peak won't move. Cause I don't want the center peak to move at all. So we clamp them. So now that's not gonna move regardless. So then it can slide the legs in. Hold on center. But that's why we, yeah, that's why we put these here. It makes it easier to build your trusses on the upper high than it is to bend over here and hurt to have your back hurt all day long. Here's 11 trusses, it's a lot of screws. So that's why we, we devised, we figured, hey, we got the pallets, why not use them? Uh, everybody wants them when we get down to it. But, and then we also put a couple one by fours that came with the package, cut our box right here, so all our stuff's right here out of the way. It's lower than the thing, so we can slide them right off. And it just it just makes it easier. Everything is, is right where you want it. We, pre, we prefab all our collar ties up off the first truss, so they're all exactly made. And uh, so when we get done, we're ready. It just, it saves a lot of time when you're doing, you're mocking them up. So that's why we do that. But the pallets will save your backs big time if you do the bags. This one here is kind of a crucial one. We tell you that this rib, this little rib here, you have to screw these in before you put your web bracing on only this one here. Because you, once the web bracing's on, you can't get them in because you got very little to screw to. So we like to put them on before we do the web bracing. That's, that's kind of a must. You have to do it on this one. The other ones, you can screw them on the side, but this one here, I do a rib right there. When you have an angle, you'll never hit it. It'll pop right out. So try to put that on first. Before we, clamp, before we clamp, we only clamp the peak. Clamp the peak and then we measure it. I mean, this is right at 100%, 24, which is what it's supposed to be. So we always measure right below the rib, because I mean, that's the bed. And so if it's that way, it'll be that way. When I put my base holes down, I'll go exactly 24 feet and uh, everything sits right pretty. And I checked this slab before I started. It was absolutely perfect. I didn't pour it, but it's green. <laughs> it's a good slab. I always pull my measurements on every building. I don't take for granted. Right on the money, 24. Uh, uh, right on. Perfect.